Paolo Maldini had a lot of things to say, guys, before the game. Some positive things, but certain things that might leave Rossoneri fans a bit shocked and worried. Before we start, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for the notifications and the reminders. Welcome back to the channel, Galletto Rossonero. If you didn't get if you didn't get a chance yet, go watch the uh, preview video and the post partita as well. Some interesting things. Um, so what did Paolo Maldini say exactly today? So first of all, he talked about Benasser. He talked about Leal, about the renewals. He said that for Benasser in the next 24, 36 hours, it should be announced. It's official. It's a done deal for him. They're moving forward together and he's happy about it. On the Leal front, he said that uh, there's willingness on both sides to continue working together. He said there's optimism around the deal. Um, and Leal always said that, that he was always happy at Milan. Milan is very happy with Leal. They're going to make an exception. They're going to offer him more money than their fake salary cap. Uh, it should be around 7 million euros. Will he accept? We'll see. But there's optimism around that deal. And he also gave a little shot to some ex-members, Donnarumma, Chalmoglu, and Kessi. He said that if you want to stay at Milan, at the end, you stay at Milan. And so um, encouraging words for Leal. Give a little shot to everybody else, and Benassa is done. However, he also said other things. He said that the team was, uh, according to him, very competitive. They were still battling on four fronts. Uh, this, of course, uh, before the defeat to Torino. So they were battling for the Coppa Italia, the Super Coppa Italiana, the Champions League, and La Serie A. Obviously, after tonight, the Coppa Italia is gone. Um, he said that he felt the team was very competitive. That was, he was expecting players to come back. He was expecting Mania to come back this season as well. And then he said that there was going to be practically no investments. Practically. He said no investments this winter transfer session. And that should worry people. Why? Because we saw again today that the right-hand side guys, Salas Makers, Messias, although they're decent players, are not the players that bring the team to the next level. And up front, if Giroud isn't performing or Leao isn't scoring, we have a lot of issues. So uh, obviously, I think the fans would like to see something invested in those departments. Uh, maybe the way he said it, he meant that he wasn't going to actually spend money. Maybe he's going to get somebody on a loan. I don't know. I don't know. But he practically said that the Calcio Mercato for this January was done. Uh, Dennis Vasquez, and that's it. So uh, worrisome because our good friend Jerry, Jerry Cardinale, when he bought the team, said that he would make the right investments to make the team better. So far, they spent money this uh, summer, 50 million euros, uh, lots of kids. Unfortunately, right now, it's not panning out for most of them. We'll see what happens. But uh, if I'm a Milan fan, I'm a bit annoyed with the last comment he did about the Calcio Mercato. I would like to see somebody come in and maybe help them out. Like I said, they're viewing a lot of different uh, kids or upcoming talents. We'll see what happens. Maybe they invest on a loan for six months. I think even in defense, they need somebody else. Gabia to me is not it. Um, there's a lot of little holes this year. It's not quite the same team as last year. Uh, obviously, last year for the final run, everybody was practically back. This year, still a lot of injuries, and uh, it's keeping us down, guys. So let me know what you think. Write in the comments. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Should Milan invest this January? I think so.